Right, what's up guys, JJ Richards here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm gonna to be attempting to see if I can still pass the army fitness test. So before we actually get started in today's video, make sure you do me a big favor, smash that subscribe button, and also give the video a big thumbs up. So I'm not lying, I'm a little bit nervous about this. So if you didn't know this about me, I was actually in the British Army from 2005 till 2010, where I was a PTI. Evidence right there. If you don't know, you need to know. So basically, I have not done any form of running activity in over 10 years. So I've been out of the Army now for nearly 10, 11 years, and I promise you, I haven't done one single run since that day because I absolutely hate running. And not only have I not ran for such a long period of time, when I was in the army, I was about 75 kilos. Today, I'm 100 kilos. So not only haven't I ran for 10 years, I'm also carrying an extra 25 kilos of weight around a mile and a half track, which doesn't really fill me with too much joy or confidence. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. I know a lot of people are gonna be wanting me to fail this, but I'm determined I'm gonna try and do it. Right, so this is the old school British Army fitness test. So this used to be called a PFT, BFT, they used to change the name of it all the time. But it basically consists of three different tests. It's two minutes best effort press-ups, two minute best effort sit-ups, followed by a mile and a half best effort run. So I've got the actual aim here. So because I'm now 32, I only have to do 41 press-ups, and 46 sit-ups. So that's what I'm aiming for. Back when I was younger and I was in the army, I used to have to do 50 press-ups and 50 sit-ups. So that's what I'm gonna aim for today. I'm gonna go 50 press-ups, 50 sit-ups, and then from there, we're gonna go out and do the army mile and a half, best effort run, which is the thing I'm most nervous about. So if this video gets 500 likes, what I will do is I'll reach out to one of my old army buddies including my brother, he is still in the British Army, and I will go to an army camp, and I will attempt the new army fitness test, because this is the old one, they have recently changed it a couple of years ago, so if I get 500 likes, I will go, and I will attempt to see if I can do the new fitness test, again, without any training. Right, so, press ups, let's go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, Take a rest. Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. Seven minutes ago. Ten more. Come on. One, two, three. Four, five, oh. five more. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> Come on, JJ. So, thirty seconds. I'm pacing myself. Two more, yeah. Yeah. One. <laughs> Two. Oh. So that was 50 prophetic press ups done. A minute 41. Pacing myself. Oh. First part of the fitness test passed. Next step sit ups. Right, ready? Yeah. Set. Two, three, four, 
JJ. Not great. Right. Let's go for a little jog. <laughs> this is nice. Right, so I've just arrived now for the part that I'm actually really nervous about. I've got like a little bit of a sicky feeling in my stomach, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I had a nervous poo before I came out. So I'm ready, I'm prepared, I'm a little bit lighter. So all the way around this track, it's actually 800 meters, and I've actually got markers for a running track um, around John Cole's Park in Chippenham. So it's three laps around here. I've got to do it in 11 minutes. So in my head, I'm thinking if I can do every lap in about three minutes 40, we should be good. However, I'm going to be honest, if I actually pass this, I'm going to be impressed. But I'm going to give it my best. I probably shouldn't have trained legs yesterday. I'm just trying to get all the excuses in now. Um, I haven't ran whatever excuses. I've not run for 10 years. I trained legs yesterday. I'm tired. Um, it's a bit cold. The floor's wet. There's people on the running track. 25 kilos heavier. 25 kilos heavier. It's probably enough excuses to justify why if I don't pass this, that's the reason why. But right, you get warmed up, do some dynamic stretches, and then we are Good to go. Yeah, ready? Go. go.
717. What? Uh, 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 My lungs, in fact, they're gonna explode. Shit. Give me a minute. Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, oh shit. The drone. Where's it going? <laughs> I don't know. Right, so I finally just recovered from that stupid run. So I'm a little bit confused because there's no way I could have run a mile and a half in seven minutes and 17 seconds. Like, unless I've got stupidly fit over the past 10 years, I think that's very, very unlikely. The best I ever got on a mile and a half run was eight minutes and 42. But we wrecked it with a groundsman last week and I asked him how long the loop was and he said it was 800 meters. And normally we used to do the fitness tests on a 400 meter running track and you used to have to do six laps of a 400 meter running track which was 2,400 meters. So therefore, if that loop was 800 meters, three laps would have been a mile and a half, but it felt like a mile and a half, like, but I just don't believe the time I got. So I'm a little bit confused, unless the groundsman's lying to me. They do actually have like a little map of the running routes on there, but I have no idea who put that together, but it literally makes no sense whatsoever because it goes from 100 meters to 500 meters to 800 meters, like half a mile, like it needs rewriting. But anyway, I'm confused, but I think I did good anyway. Let, let's call it a pass. Like even if it was wrong, I still did it in a decent time anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I didn't enjoy it. It's a bit of a reality check that I'm nowhere near as fit as I used to be and carrying a little bit more muscle definitely takes its toll on your fitness. So give the video a thumbs up guys. Don't forget, if it gets 500 likes, I will do the new and improved army fitness test for you guys, for your entertainment, because I'm nice like that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.